Hey, this is this is this day is another day like Christmas for me because I got in uh, aside from my Elegoo Saturn, which I'll float where the review is somewhere here. I also got in the Elegoo Mars 2 Pro. So standard, awesome, awesome plastic lid that I love. Changing up my tune. Okay, Z feels nice and stable, which is good. This build plate arm looks interesting. I like, I like the way it's gonna fit into the ball joint, even though you guys know, if you've watched my other videos, of course, you know ball joint is my second favorite leveling system, right after the four screw leveling system, which I prefer. The USB port, interestingly enough, the USB port is on the front of this one. Now, I actually love this. I know people say if it's on the front, or the front side, if resin spills out of your machine, and it'd have to be a lot of resin, but if resin spills out of your machine, uh, it could get into the port, and that's why some people like it in the side rear. Look, if that much resin spilling out of your machine, maybe you know, maybe you shouldn't be printing or something. And that, that that would be that would have to be a pretty bad spill for it to cascade so much over the sides that it basically covers the machine. Anyway, so I actually like that. That placement, some people have also complained when it's in the front, it gets in the way of their touch screen. But on this one, I mean, it's, it's way out of the way. Even a big fat hand, fat finger person like me, I'm not gonna bump into the USB trying to use the touch screen. So I'm not worried about that. Let's check out the VAT. Oh, the VAT is metal. See, I was wondering, uh, since I know some manufacturers are going to like a new, uh, really high quality composite plastic that maybe this would, but no, this is nice. This is metal. Okay, it does not have the little legs that that's big brother the Elegoo Saturn has for locking the build plate in. But what it does have, to a lesser degree than than the Voxel Lab from uh, Flash Forge had, it has uh, ridges which you probably won't be able to see from there. But it's got like a little inset area which should uh which this should slide into and let me make sure it like kind of fits in let me get the screws out of the way uh oh yeah so it's got there's it's got a recessed area so you know when the build plate is in place and there's just like a tiniest little bit of play in there but it's that way you know your your um your vat is in place did i say build plate you know your vat is in place so I like that. The, unfortunately, oh, hmm, that's interesting. I was about to say it doesn't have any volume indicator markers, but what it does have, it has one that says max for maximum. Interestingly enough, I don't know how other people put their vats in. I always, for whatever reason, I always tend to put the pour spout in this corner where I have it, front right, I guess. They actually want you to have it the other way because the word max is printed on uh, the side where the pour spout is. So in order to see the word max and why I didn't see it at first, I would have to insert the vat. And maybe this is how, I, you know, I never really thought about how other people do this. For some reason, I always like the pour spout in the front, but it doesn't, obviously it doesn't actually matter where the pour spout is. So a little trouble working my vat in and out with, maybe I didn't make the screws high enough. Um, also, I didn't take off the plastic film yet because I don't want to damage anything, so that's causing a little friction. So, if I put it in with the pour spout in the back, I can then see the word max. I love that they have a max fill line. I, I do think every single vat made should have fill lines on it because I have a few vats that don't, and I'm always trying to say, okay, I know I should go like to almost one third below the top. I mean, that, that's considering it's easy to print on there, I don't see why they don't all have that. So. Again, build plate, it's got the slopes. Uh, it's got a tiny little, and I, I guess for ease of, of attaching the, the ball joint to it, it's got a tiny, tiny little flat rectangular area right where it joins. So that means there's a little area where resin will not run off of. But, and this for me, not a big deal, but this is an absolute first. I've now had probably 15 different resin printers. This is the first one that came with a way to, I believe what this is, is a way to 
um, angle your build plate so resin runs off. This, I'm pretty sure this is, uh, you know, the thing that, that people print. I've never used one before that people print off Thingiverse so they can kind of like hang their build plate. This angle piece slides in here. Then you slide it onto your, onto the arm and for you. So, ho. Oh, kudos to Elegoo. This is the first time I know you can just print these off. The, <coughs> excuse me. I know you can just print these off Thingiverse, but I've never bothered to do that. It's nice that they included it here. Good touch, Elegoo. Good job. They did send me, like on the Elegoo Saturn, another uh, urine specimen cup. And since I sent the one back that came with my Saturn and gave them my urine sample, I probably don't need to do it again, hopefully. Um, okay, yeah, this is for, you know, measuring resin and pouring it in, I guess, or if you want to mix stuff. So it, it's actually a handy measuring cup. i joking about the urine specimen thing, forgive me. Comes with a USB stick, of course, like all do. And this is actually a little surprising to me because this is the Mars 2 Pro. This looks like a totally, unless, and my eyes aren't that great anymore, but unless I'm really, really missing something, this is just a totally unbranded USB stick. Or maybe to get it cheaper, it's a branded one, but without the brand name on it. I don't know. But this, this actually scares me a little bit because this harkened back to the days, the early days of these resin 3D printers, when like the first thing everyone would tell you to do, so you people are new, might not know this, but flashback just like eight, 10 months ago. And the first thing everyone would tell everyone when they got any new resin 3D printer, throw out the USB stick. I hope we're not back to that. So I was a little shocked to see that this, literally I can't find any markings. This is totally unbranded it looks like. I'm so used to, I mean, lately the last five or six printers I got before this, you know, were all SanDisk USB sticks. So, so you know, the brand you knew you could trust I'm going to use this, of course, to test it, but I'm just hoping we're not reverting back to where they're trying to save like a dollar on the USB stick. I mean, that, that actually doesn't make sense to me. So hopefully, and maybe Elegoo, you know, maybe I'll reach out to their customer service and maybe they'll tell me, hey, this is not just some cheap USB stick. It is made by a real manufacturer. But then, you know, like stamp it on there. Let us know. So we'll see. Bunch of gloves. Um, power supply is the kind I like, which means this end plug is not one of those huge bricks you stick in. It's just a regular plug, so it doesn't take up a ton of space in your surge protector, and it fits into your wall. You can solve another plug underneath it. I, I really don't like when I get a big one that I plug in, and it takes up the whole outlet, basically, or my surge protector takes up three or four spots. So this is the type of power supply that I like, which is good. Everything else is just standard cutters. Um, they give you extra FEP. I believe it looks like there's just one in there. Okay, but hey, one is better than none. Uh, and then the standard tools. So I will, uh, pretty slick looking machine. And you know what, it's actually, it's, it's heavy. So it's all metal construction, I'm pretty sure, without looking at the marking materials, because this, this is like, for, for a printer this size, it's pretty significantly heavy. And my camera ran out of battery when I was filming, so starting again. So I was talking about the weight of this. The, it's very heavy. I like it solid. It feels like very solid metal construction. Nice uh, solid metal vat. So I'm, I'm looking forward to testing this. Now, I will again float around my head. I already reviewed the Anycubic uh, Photon Mono and the Voxel Lab by Flashforge. The Voxel Lab uh, Mono screen as well, the Proxima. So I am expecting and I'm going to compare the prints to the prints off the, off the, uh, the Anycubic and the Voxel Lab. I am expecting this to basically print exactly the same as those two. Again, it's the same technology. And like beating the dead horse, I'm going to say what I said in my other reviews. You know, probably when I come back, I'm going to say it even now. It's a 2K screen. It's, it's, I'm expected to print great, but it's been leapfrogged by the, Any, um, by the Frozen Sonic Mini 4K. So as good as I'm expecting it to print, I'm not, I'm also expecting, I'm not going to come back in a few days and tell you this prints the best minis ever because the 4K Sonic mini screen just gives you better resolution and prints great. 
So, uh, but let's see what I let's see what I get in the next couple days. I'll come back with a few test prints. We'll have the high res photos. I will show, and I'll even float it in my head now. But when I come back, I'll 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 have um, close up of how the light source works there in terms of how even the light distribution is. Do we see gridding? Do we see the hot and cold spots or anything like that? I think that's important for you guys to see, you know, in making your decision. Um, I'll come back with the price as well, which I don't know off the top of my head. So I'll, I'll have that in the next part of the review. And that's it. So, so stay tuned for just a few more minutes and the review will be over. Thanks everyone. I'm back here with my test prints, Mars Pro 2 written on the bottom so I know what they are. Um, before I get into anything, let's let's talk about the light source test, which I'm gonna I'm gonna cut away from myself so you can see this full screen. I'm gonna talk you through it. I had heard that that Elegood had some problems with the light source with gridding and hot spots. I'm not sure which printers it was on. Even I'd have to go look it up. So I was a little concerned how this light source test was gonna come out. And then I ran it, and it is beautiful. So I'm showing it to you. I filmed as best I could. But I'm just going to describe it to you in case it's not coming through as clear as it should or you can't tell what it means. The light source was beautiful. It, it looked to me perfectly even. No hot spots, no cold spots, no gridding at all. Um, which makes me think they're not using one of those parallel light sources. It seems like they're using something with a diffuser and reflectors or whatever. But whatever it is, the edge of the screen was as bright as the center of the screen. Like I was actually shocked how good the light looked. When, when I ran the test. I mean, it, it literally just looked perfect, perfectly even everywhere. So that's, I, honestly, I wasn't expecting that. And everyone knows I'm not an Elegoo fanboy. I think last generation, I don't even think I reviewed an Elegoo printer. Uh, not, not that I had anything against Elegoo, by the way. I just didn't have one um, and they didn't send me one and I didn't buy one because I had so many printers already. So I just didn't get around to it. So I'm definitely not an Elegoo fanboy or an Elegoo shill. But that light source got like, when I did that light source test, it got me really excited. So, you know, my test prints, you know, you'll see some the photos here and stay, stay with me for like two more minutes. You'll, you'll look at them high res up close, but they are gorgeous. Like, I actually think they somehow came out like a tiniest little bit better. I mean, everything should print basically the same in this 2K generation. And we'll talk about the Sonic Mini 4K in a second. But these actually came out a little better to me than then off my off the any cubic mono and off the um the voxel lab like tiniest slightest bit crisper and cleaner and all you know details just a little more perfect but and that might be a negligible difference but overall i'm really impressed with this mars mars pro 2 because the the quality of life in the machine the all metal construction the metal vat the little slot for the vat to go into the little uh you know doohickey to hang on the arms you can hang your build plate tilt it which i won't even use by the way but i know a lot of you will it's just a really nice touch um the urine sample cup okay not the urine sample cup um everything about the machine they you know it's one of those things you guys know I always talk about like the manufacturers these days should be getting everything right i mean they've had enough experience over the last two years of making these machines that they know what consumers want, they know what works well. So all the machines should be what I call thoughtful. This one's very thoughtful. I really, really like the machine. But of course, as you guys know, the only thing that matters to me in the end is how does it print? And this printed incredible. Of, of the 2K machines I've tested, this this prints great. This prints as, as well as my EPAX X1K, which is saying something. So. Elegu, like, great job. This this printer's awesome. Now, I always have to talk about, in this day and age, I still have to talk about the Sonic Mini 4K. It does have higher resolution than this. Uh, prints a little crisper and cleaner because it does. I mean, Sonic Mini 4K leapfrogged everyone. But if Z-height on the Sonic Mini 4K is an issue for you, which it can be for people if you print uh, taller minis or bus or anything large, um, the limitation on the Sonic Mini 4K Z-height can be a problem. This machine doesn't have it. It's a lot taller in the Z, I think uh, 20 millimeters. So right now I'd say if you're getting a, a 2K small screen printer out of the ones I've tested so far, uh, again, barring the PAX X1K, which is always on another level because it's a full iron box, so it's more expensive. But if you're going in the budget area, I've tested the uh, Anycubic Mono, the Voxel Lab, and now this Mars Pro 2, 
Uh, the Mars Pro 2 to me is my favorite machine. Sorry to any Cubic and Voxel Lab, I have to be honest. This this machine, just all little bells and whistles, everything about it, it, it screams quality to me. I can't speak to durability, of course, because it would I'd have to run it for six months to a year before I could give you my honest opinion on how it held up. Obviously, I can't do that on a machine that's just released. But from what I've seen of it and the prints, which you're going to see the high-res photos in just a minute, stick with me. I mean, this machine performs really, really well. And and that light source, again, like you saw it there, and like I'm, I'm not sure you can see exactly as, as clearly as I could see. Light source was gorgeous. So Elegu, I'm, I was, I'm very impressed, very impressed with this machine. Uh, everything about it, all the little details on it are all the things like I kind of like. The only thing for me that I don't love 100% that I slightly prefer different is everyone knows I don't, I'm not in love with ball joints on my build plate. I think it's fine, but I, I do personally prefer the four screw leveling system. But aside from that little thing, which is just a personal preference, the rest of it is is like top notch. I'm very impressed with this machine. It makes me anxious. Uh, Look for a few days, guys. I'm going to be reviewing my Elegoo Saturn. I'm just starting my testing on it now and all that stuff. I didn't test the light source there yet, so I'll be interesting to see how that light source test compares to this this Mars Pro 2, which was like incredible. So uh, and now I'm now I'm pretty excited to see what what the Saturn can do as well. Um, hopefully, it lives up to this its baby brother, but who knows? We'll, we'll we'll see what happens. And you know, I'll give you an honest review on that one too. So if it's not as good, I'll tell you it's not as good. If it's as good, I'll tell you it's as good. So let's see. But this one, Mars 2 Pro, I can absolutely recommend this machine. Now, I will float the price here because as I'm sitting here, I'm not sure. I want to give you the most current price when I release the video. So I'll, I'll add that into the video afterwards. But if this price is reasonably priced, which I'm sure coming from Elegoo it's going to be, I think right now, if you're getting a small screen, 2K mono screen printer, uh, this would be my first choice right now. This very impressive stuff. So that's it. Please like, please subscribe. Again, my Elegoo Saturn uh, review is coming. I've been a little delayed because I'm running my Kickstarter. For those of you who haven't checked it out, please, please go check out my Kickstarter. It's, it's linked in the description below. It is up to over 40 incredibly high quality miniatures plus three big terrain pieces, plus like seven or eight free gifts and more minis coming. I mean, like it's insane value and, and the stuff is sculpted by some of the best sculptors in the mini industry. So you're talking like super high quality stuff at a super bargain price. I put together some amazing collaborations for you guys um, with some of the best sculptors out there and some and, and best painters just to show you what it looks like painted. I mean, the Kickstarter is, is like a celebration of 3D printing. And I'd really love for you guys to go and support it, support me, support the artists. It's it's just, it's, I don't know. I think it's a great homage to 3D, our 3D printing community right now. And I'd really appreciate if you go check it out. So thanks. And happy 3D printing. So on the turtle, I look at the eye, which came out in this case, extremely like super clear. The change came out very nice and clear, very well defined. The little tiny there's tiny little like micro scales on the shoulder and the knee those also came out really nice um, overall the print when i hold it in my hand very crisp and clean now the gunslinger we look at the teeth on the guns came out perfect look at the belt buckle again extremely clear very nice and then i also look at that pouch on his waist not only are the strings and the stitching very clear i can even faintly make out tiny little twist lines in this in the strings which is incredible because those are so so small but when i put on magnifying glass and look i can see tiny little twist lines so printer performed as i said pretty amazing i'm really happy with it hope you guys enjoyed thanks